how to begin with writing a legal research paper. First of all, you have to begin with answering these two questions. One, what is the word limit of your research paper, blog, or article? Second, how long do you have to write this research piece? What this does is it would help you make the most important decisions first to help you receive a, you know, achieve a realistic timeline. What that does is you know that you have to write the research paper in three days, and this is the scope of the words you're looking at. You can define how much research you want to do. How do you want to divide your time between researching and writing? Essentially, organizing your research better. Quick pro tip, your research material should be at least thrice the number of word count that you're looking at. And you should always organize all your research in one single doc before you start writing so that you don't have to shift windows, don't have to shift documents. And everything you need in one, is in one place helps you write faster and miss any, you know, you won't miss any of the research work that you've done. Where do you start? First, make a skeleton of your research. Essentially, this is write down all the topics and subtopics that you're looking at. Second, decide what your relevant research is, what you're going to include and what you're going to leave out. Are you going to focus solely on, you know, just scholarly articles for a paper? Or are you just going to focus on judgments from a particular high court? Again, these are the decisions that once you've made, it helps you organize your research better. Third is, again, create a Word document with topics to organize your research. The skeleton that you make, paste it in a Word document. Every time you come across something relevant, you know which section that of the research paper, blog, whatever you're looking at, it's supposed to go in. Like suppose if it's a moot, what issue it's supposed to go into, what sub issue it's supposed to go into. You paste that research there. This helps you organize it very fast. Once you've done all this research, if there is a place where you don't understand, add the explanations in the word book itself so that when, when you start writing, there's some form of written content already with you. Third, the process. Always follow a statement fact research you know, structure, write what the statement is you're making, write what the facts are currently, add your research and your opinion. Secondly, never, you know, start with legal research on Google. What it does is it would give you, you know, blogs and articles with the best SEO and the best kind of financing behind it, which is essentially not the best research you can come across. Um, for this at Manupatra, we provide you Manu Research, Manu Search Interface, which is your Google alternative for, you know, legal research. Use it the same way you use Google. Third is the importance of time period and jurisdiction. What is the time period you're looking at? If you're looking at, suppose, you know, cases that have happened just in the five years, last five years, or developments that have happened just the last five years. Jurisdiction, if you're looking at three Commonwealth countries. You can always just focus your research solely on that if you're using a legal research database like Manupath by using filters. Next, what are the common mistakes to avoid? Checking that whether the judgment is overruled or not. Never cite an overruled, you know, amended, pending, act, judgment, whatever. Always check the future treatment of the case. What if it was dissented in some other case? It might have not been overruled, but what if it was dissented in another case? That would take away the credibility. What were the points that were raised? Always make sure to check the future treatment of a case. Fourth is, again, jurisdiction applicability in this case. If you're preparing for, you know, a litigation research or internship research in a high court, and you start, you know, giving fundamental value to judgments from other high courts, they are not bound by it. It's just a persuasive value. And if you do that, that takes away from the quality of your research. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to write to us in the comment section below. Uh, please follow us on LinkedIn. All these features we keep discussing over there. Thank you so much.